pull from Clemson, a senior. And she was at LSU earlier in her career. Doesn't matter which Tiger she's running for, the result has been the same. She's at an elite level. Two-time national champion for Jamaica, 2013-2014, the number two ranked half miler in the country. Underway in the women's 800 meters here at Mike Long Track. Chelsea Jarvis, Anima Banks from Duke, Natoya Gould, Tanisha Cordell from Miami, Hannah Green from Virginia Tech, Kenyetta Ibabel from NC State, Elizabeth Whelan, Lizzie Whelan from North Carolina, and Sydney Over from FSU as they'll collapse and run trackside, and it is Gould out in front, the senior from Clemson. Wow, she's really going for it. She wants a fast pace here. Came through that first 200 in about 27 seconds. That would put her here at the 400 in about 55. Hannah Green from Virginia Tech settling into second, but Gould, a redshirt senior from Jamaica. Green, a sophomore from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, running for the Hokies. This is some really aggressive running by Gould, and it's smart. You know, she gets out front, and she's making everybody else chaser and that's very difficult to do in a championship race like this you get a big lead well hannah green was the runner up in this race a year ago at the acc outdoors won the 800 indoors this year had the second best qualifying mark or performance mark coming in so if anybody can give her a run it would be her but i think natoya ghoul is just in a class by herself we'll see well the question here here is with 200 meters to go did she go out just a little too fast even for her Hannah Green is still in contact, and she looks pretty good. They head into the final turn, and here in the women's 800, it's Natoya Gould and Hannah Green. Green giving it a go. Green coming up on the outside of Gould. It's Gould and Green. Hannah Green, runner-up a year ago, trying to chase down a three-time national champ. Gould trying to find more in the tank. And the senior accelerates and will be able to hold off Hannah Green. A great finish there in the women's 800. I thought Green had her, but Gould found fifth gear and finished her off. Great finish. Well, we have seen sensational times all day long, and it's no different here in the women's 800. Here you see Natoya Gould. She kind of glances up to her left. She can see the time on the clock. But I always get a little worried when an athlete takes their eyes off the track and they look up and it looked like just for a second that Hannah Green was going to have enough to overtake her. But Natoya Gould just continues to press such a hard way to win a race from start to finish to lead like that. But that is exactly what she wanted to do was get a big lead and hold on. Well, and there she 